Hi, this is me. I'm Brian, and this is my husband, Tim. We've been together over 35 years, but there's always something that's come between us. My Disney obsession. And this is my husband, Disney, and me. chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar, and I'm here to help you guys get ready. But first, we have to scan you for Pandoran microparasites. Alright everyone, stay on your number and move your arms a bit. Okay, start scan. <laughs> You've all got them. Uh, but don't worry. Uh, they're very common around these parts. Uh, let's start to decon. Nobody. Stand still over your number. You're not going to feel a thing. Ow! Ow! Whoa! I'm doing great. Woo! Almost done here. They're all Ranger here. Ranger Ranger's great. <laughs> now let's go over how all this works. Like I said before, you're going to be Thank matched the to these things called avatars, which look a lot like the Na'vi. They're created by blending human DNA and Na'vi DNA. Once we match you to an avatar, thanks to a special link chair, your mind will be able to control that avatar. Using avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads our science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative. And we're here in the Valley of Moara, stunning banshees and their environment. Over a generation ago, this enormous company called the RDA created a lot of damage to the area through their bad mining practices and conflicts with the Navi. Just like on Earth, it can take decades for ecosystems to recover. One way to understand what's going on with an ecosystem is to study what are called keystone species. These are animals like tigers, jaguars, seals. The banshee is one of these important animals. Dr. Ogden is the foremost expert on studying the Ikron and has spent years researching them. Unfortunately, banshees live high in rookeries and humans can't get anywhere near them without <laughs> becoming their lunch. But the Na'vi and avatars can. In fact, the Na'vi have been riding on the backs of banshees since their earliest history. Thanks to science, avatars can ride on banshees too. That's why you're linking to an avatar. Okay, to get you flying on a banshee, we need to find each of you an avatar. Um, let's uh, prep the genetic sampling. I'm on it. Okay, um, first we need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. <laughs> Help us out and move around a bit. Almost. Yes, got him. Now, let's find you your avatar matches. been matched with avatars. Uh, ooh, looks like they're ready for you in the next room. Uh, when the door opens, please go inside, all the way in, and stand over the same number that you're standing over now. And, uh, and I'll see you in there. He's not gonna be in there. No. Great, you've all made it. Uh, it's important that you can all see me, so move a little if you can. Again? Before we send you to the link chamber, let's watch this piece by Dr. Ogden, who 
who runs the program. Welcome, everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi, flying on the back of an Ikran, or as we call it, a Banshee. To the Navi, connecting to an Ikran and flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. With permission from the Navi and in partnership with Alpha Centauri Expeditions, we can now bring this amazing experience to you. The way you'll be able to fly is by linking to an avatar that's already on the back of an Ikran. Let's see how this works. We establish a link using powerful psionic amplification equipment. A human driver is connected to an avatar, which could be physically hundreds of kilometers away. When you follow our technician into the link chamber, you'll see a series of 16 link chairs. Please go to the number that matches the number you're standing on now. First, stow your gear in the storage containers on the back wall. This should include all bags, cameras, and other items, including cell phones. It's important to push them all the way into the bin. Then get onto the chair as you would a bike. Straddle the seat, step forward, and sit down. Slide your hips forward until you are against the chest pad, and then move your feet all the way forward. Wait until you're seated before you put on your flight visors. Hold onto the hand grips as shown. It's important to hold onto the hand grips at all times. After you're seated, back and leg restraints will be firmly engaged. For your safety, throughout this entire experience, always remain seated and supervise your children. Once the link takes place, you'll be connected to your avatar and sitting on the back of an Ikron. It'll feel like you're really there. Moments later, you'll begin your flight. A Navi guide will lead you out. You'll experience the breathtaking beauty of Pandora, but you might also face some of its greatest challenges. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Sivak Hope, rise to the challenge. Good luck. All right, you ready? Let's get you into the link chamber. You guys are going to be suspended. Okay, so just a quick update on flight of passage that we got off on. Now we're waiting for the bus to get over to Hollywood Studios, but Brian, what but did you think? But that's another story. Yeah, but because we always park in one park and then use the buses. Anyway, Brian, what did you think of Flight of Passage this time around? This was like the best ride I've had on it. I felt so much movement, like I was really flying over Pandora, and the breathe, I don't know if you know this, but the Banshees actually breathe while you're on there, and you can feel them inhaling and exhaling. And I got water spray That's on my face. That's what I was going to mention. I've, I've never, never felt that felt before. water spray before, and this time we both did a lot. I mean, when you're going, there's a scene where you go near the ocean, when you go in the water Spoiler curl. Spoiler alert. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and there's also a scene where you see a big something come out of the water, and I felt spray from that as well. So it was a really, I don't know if they've enhanced the ride. I, I, I felt they did. I don't know. Oh, okay. And then so. when we got off the ride, the woman sitting to Tim's left, <laughs> couldn't get funny. off there's there's a spring that pops up to hold you in place hers didn't go back down so the cast member came in told her she'd be riding all day and she was more than happy with that <laughs> <laughs> but he quick released it and she got yeah. off of course anyway so now we're waiting for a bus to go to Hollywood Studios to go to Galaxy's Edge so I can have my blue milk yay so this is something that just came in yesterday these are dioramas, and I'm trying to go around to the side so you can see the 3D effect. They have Splash Mountain. It's a small world. The teacups with Alice, the March Hare, and the Mad Hatter. The Haunted Mansion with the Hitchhiking Ghosts. Pirates of the Caribbean. And one of my favorites, the Tiki Room. And the best thing is, you can put them together yourself. And they're only $16.99 a piece. I love this idea. So there's your collectible magnets. You get to come here and get those if you're a pass holder. And then on your fourth visit, you get coasters. Yay, coasters. So we're going to go check out the merchandise for food and wine in the store first because we're still a few minutes before the food is available. <laughs> Meaning World Showcase doesn't open until 11 o'clock. Yep. And we're having Japanese, what are we having today? Well, I, 
I used to work with someone from Taiwan, and, and I know I'm pronouncing this wrong, but she pronounces something like chachabao, but it's uh, teriyaki chicken sealed in a roll. It's really good. We had it last year. And we're going to have it again. See you then. So we finally got our food in Japan. Today at Epcot, we're having the teriyaki chicken bun. It's right there. They're very good. $5 for that puppy. And I already took a bite out and of it. And he already took a bite out of it because he couldn't wait. Um, I don't know why he got instructions on using chopsticks no, because you so don't know really know them. Another time. Yeah. I love uh, Japanese and Chinese food. He does. He eats and Japanese and Chinese food all the time. With uh, something like this, especially at a festival, the teriyaki flavor can be overwhelming. No. It isn't. It isn't? Cool. So we're in line at Earth Eats and we're going to get the Impossible Burger, Impossible Burger and the Impossible Cottage Pie. And it's called Impossible because, because there's no meat. So that's it. cool. I can't wait to taste this. I've been looking forward to this for over a week. Now Brian has a problem with hot stuff, so I'm going to eat the burger because it has wasabi sauce on He's it. He's going to taste it first. And make sure that he can handle it. I usually lie to him. Don't, don't tell him that. <laughs> right, Tom, it's okay. I, I, it. I'm right here. Huh? Nothing. Oh. And I'm getting the uh, impossible cottage pie. Because he's impossible to live with? Thank you. Two curmudgeons, two Disney. <laughs> <laughs> so, as promised, we have the cottage pie from Earth Eats and the impossible burger. Look how huge it looks. Now, wait a second. Wait, wait one second. <laughs> It's itty bitty, it's but a it's a taste, you know. So that's what this whole thing is. They were five and five seventy-five, I believe, weren't they? And uh, five. Wait a second. What is it over there? Five twenty-five for the Impossible Burger. Five dollars for the Impossible Cottage Pie. Okay, so we're gonna try them both and see how we like them. No, you're not gonna have it. And we're eating. Okay. You want to try yours first? So this is supposed to have wasabi sauce on it. It's supposed to make it kind of warm, which is what he doesn't like, so. Not warm, but spicy. He would not eat this. Oh really, it's that spicy? It's not that it's super spicy, but it has that spicy tang that I know would make him go cuckoo. So, no, no, not poo poo. Oh. <laughs> we do that enough at our age. Okay. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and have the cottage pie. And this is the cottage pie. And again, it's the impossible cottage pie because, because there's no meat. That's awesome. It's very hot. Not spicy. No, 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 like not hot. spicy hot. It's hot. <laughs> now the thing I like about this is there's just enough juice in it and just enough taste to it. And remember, there's no meat in this burger. It's awesome. So, how's your cottage pie? It's too hot. We know that already. That is wonderful. It is good. Oh my god. This, I wish you liked things with a little bit of spice. No. This has just enough spice to it that if you like spicy, you're going to go, that was nice. This cottage pie is to die for. Do you want to taste? Uh huh. Wait, I have no meat in my mouth yet, right now. Okay. That is so good. Isn't it? Oh my god, what is in there? Potatoes and peas and all kinds of vegetables. But there's some sort of, like... It's made out of vegetables, I don't know. But there's something like a barbecue or a... A barbecue flavor in there or something. Don't you see? Yeah, it's not a barbecue. I don't know what the flavor is. Whatever it is, it's delicious. Oh my god, that's wonderful. Okay, there's nothing else you have to get here except for the Impossible Burger and the Impossible Pie. These Let's things are awesome. And we're going to go to the shade now. And we had to pause for a moment because we had to move to shade because it's hot. <laughs> it's very hot. It's not as hot and as And I have red hair. Is, but it's hot right now. I mean, this is good. Oh my god. You could actually make a meal just by going from booth to booth to booth. They give you a small amount, but when you go to like two or three booths, that's a meal. And I kind of have a rule. I don't 
uh, I don't sit down and say what food is good, what food isn't good, because it all depends upon your taste. It's he doesn't like species. Species. I like certain species. I like bison. <laughs> He doesn't like spicy. I like spicy as long as it's not too spicy. So my rule is basically, was it worth the price? Yes, my gosh, $5.25 for this little burger, awesome, good for the price. His cottage pie, absolutely five bucks. Wonderful taste. And th Wonderful again, taste. this is from the Healthy Eats? No, it's called Earth Eats. Earth Eats. Both of these are, like, it's near uh, a, um, a triplex. So they have right. Active Eats, Earth Eats, and Coastal Eats. So Coastal Eats, pretty much shellfish. Right. We're, we're not in World Showcase at the moment. This right. is just before uh, the International Gateway. Right. If you've ever been to the Flower and Garden Show, it's near where they do the uh, butterfly exhibit. But, oh, this is wonderful. I've never had something this tasty before. This, this is really good. This was worth the wait. Absolutely it was. Well, instead of continuing to eat in your face, we're going to say bye for now.